y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and if you're new to my channel, I run a fashion and lifestyle blog over on MissMelanieMay.com. I will link that down below so feel free to go and check out my blog. Um, I post on there about three to four times a week and then I try to post a video once a week but um, sometimes I miss weeks here and there. Um, so welcome to my channel if you're new. And if you can believe it or not, it is the end of June already. So um, I am back for another monthly favorites. I did this last month at the end of May, and I really like doing it. So I'm going to do it again for this month. Um, I used to post like kind of like my Friday favorites over on the blog like weekly. But sometimes it was kind of hard to do things weekly. Like I don't have favorites every single week. So um, I just kind of keep a running list in my phone when I come up with things. And then at the end of the month, I like to share them with you guys. So that is what I'm doing today. Um, as always, I'll be linking the products down below and this video. And I also will most likely write a corresponding blog post. So I always link the blog post that goes with the video down below as well. So you can check that out. Um, and without further ado, let's get right into the video. So actually, surprisingly, I do not have any clothing items this month. I know, shocker. Um, so I just have kind of random products. Um, lifestyle, beauty, sort of all over the place. So the first um, item that I want to mention is, I guess we'll start with, yeah, okay. I'm just kind of trying to figure out what the best order is here. The first thing I'm going to mention is very random, but it's mint. Um, I've been loving putting a slice of lemon or two slices of lemon and some mint leaves in my water every day. Um, I just get, I feel like it gives it a really nice flavor. It makes it really refreshing and it kind of spices it up. And I definitely find myself drinking way more water when I do that. Um, so I get my mint from Trader Joe's. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend getting it there. It's like super cheap. Um, does it have the price on here? No, but it's like literally $2.99 or even less than that. It's very cheap. And the mint lasts a long time. And yeah, I really like it. So that's my first product that I want to mention. Um, and then the second food item that I want to mention I don't have with me, but are they, but they are Sun Buttercups. I tried them this month. They're very, very good. Um, and so it's dark chocolate. I think they have milk chocolate as well. But it's like a peanut butter cup, but it's with Sun Butter instead of peanut butter. So they're gluten-free, nut-free, dairy-free, so like everything allergy-friendly, and they're very, very good. Um, so definitely, if you have like a nut allergy or gluten-free or anything like that, check them out because they are amazing um, and definitely can't make it a habit to eat every day because they are um, like a peanut butter cup, but they're definitely very good. On the complete opposite end of healthy flavored water, we have some butter cups. Um, so those are my only two food items that I have this month, really. And then the next thing I'm going to do is beauty items. So the first thing I have is um, Epsom salt. This past month, month, I have been really into taking like Epsom salt baths once or twice a week. Um, this past few weeks I've been kind of busy, but this um, is really great for muscle pain, joint pain, um, really anything like that. I use it for like body aches and stuff, but it's even just relaxing just to soak in a bath. Um, and this one is Target brand, but the one that's known is Dr. Teal's. This is like a knockoff for that. It's honestly the same thing. It was cheaper. Um, and this scent is um, eucalyptus and spearmint. They have lavender, they have coconut oil, they have all different ones. Um, I just saw Ulta sells this for Dr. Teal's the other day. Uh, Target I know sells it. A lot of places sell it. But basically you, when you add it to, um, yeah, so you add two cups of this to a tub and then you soak for 20 minutes. You can also use it as a skin exfoliant, but I just soak in it. Um, so you do need quite a bit. So a bag doesn't last that long when you do two cups. I guess you could do less than that, but if you really are using it for like muscle pain and all that, you need to soak for, with soak in it with two cups according to the bag. So definitely really been liking that this month and it's quite cheap. So that's good. Um, the next thing I am going to mention is this Burt's Bees um, Overnight Intensive Lip Treatment. I bought this at the beginning of the month from Target because I was using a Bliss Text um, type lip balm, but it was not like Bliss Text in the squeeze tube. It was like in this type of pot form, and I was out of it, and they didn't sell it at Target, but I thought I might as well switch it up and get something more natural. So this was on the pricier side. It was like... I want to say 11 or 12 dollars so it's a little pricey but I think it will last a long time because it's like a lot is in here 
and it smells kind of minty um but I have never found a lip treatment overnight lip treatment that works as good as this honestly um I wake up in the morning my lips aren't dry at all it isn't like super oily or greasy it soaks right into the skin and the reason that I know this works is because I had a cold this past month and whenever I get a cold my lips get so chapped but I was using this regularly vigorously every night I applied it and I never had chapped lips I had a stuffy nose I had a dry you know gross nose but my lips never got chapped and I know it was from this because I didn't change any of my other products and I was definitely breathing out of my mouth and my lips really were not dry at all. So definitely recommend this. I think it's a newer product. Um, I think it said new on the package when I bought it, but it's really great. And the other thing is it's all pretty much all natural. It's Burt's Bees brand. So definitely check this out the next time you need a night lip balm. Um, and then the next beauty product I have is this St. Moore's, St. Moore's, I don't know how you say it, M-O-R-I-Z, Self Tanner. I purchased this this past month and got it in the dark and it's the tanning lotion. And I have used this like two or three, two, twice now. Um, and I really like it. It goes on super easy. It's um, a great color and it has a um, color guard in it so you know where you're applying it. It does have a little bit of a self tanner smell. That's the only thing I will say about it. Um, but I haven't had any streaking with it. It lasts about a week. Um, and yeah, I would compare it to like a Saint Tropez type tanning lotion. There's a million self tanners out there. I honestly went to Ulta. I was going to get the Tarte one, but it was $40 and I could not bring myself to spend $40 on a self tanner when it doesn't last. I mean, I've used this twice and the bottle's almost like half gone. So I couldn't bring myself to do that. So I went over to the drugstore side and I was looking. They had, you know, the, the whole tanner section. They have Saint Tropez. They even have, um... What is that one called? Something tan. I'm not going to come up with the name. But they have like all different ones. Jergens, you know, all the different brands. And I saw this on the bottom shelf and I, I remember hearing about this like a while ago. And it's actually from um, the UK. It's like really popular in England. But I really like this. Now, with that being said, I would say that as much as I like the self tanner, the tanning mitt, I would say, is almost more of a favorite than the actual tanner because I equate a good self tanner to a good mitt. And this one I bought at Tarte. Um, I actually purchased this online. I know when you buy like the Tarte self tanner, it comes with a mitt, but I bought this online. It was like $5. And they have one at Ulta that's very similar from the brand My, 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 My Tan, Mine Tan. I don't know. I'll link it down below. My sister has that one. But it is. Um, like a kind of like velour velour I guess is what you would call it and it fits on my hand really perfectly I've rinsed this so I've used the um this darker side every time I've done it just because I feel like you don't you don't see it with the tanner on it as much all I do is rinse it off after it still looks brand new and I really think this is the reason that it doesn't streak I mean you can buy the best self tanner for $40 but if you don't have that good mitt then you're not going to get the good application so these together were less than $20 the self tanner was $11.99 and the tanning mitt was like $5 so $20 perfect self tan I even had someone comment and thought that it was like a natural tan so that is very, very good. Um, I'm going to actually do a full video on self tanning, so I'm not going to go into more detail on review. I'm going to talk in depth about this product and how to apply it and all of that in another video, which will be coming probably in a week or so. So stay tuned for that, but I just wanted to mention that this is definitely a monthly favorite of mine. And let's see. Okay, next I have um, these earrings. And I had a look because I couldn't remember. I feel like I've talked about these before, but I guess maybe it was just in an outfit post on my blog, but I don't think I've mentioned them in a video at all. So if I have, I'm sorry, but I really don't think I have because I haven't posted a video since like a month ago, I feel like. Um, but I've definitely worn these quite a bit on the blog and they are from Target. They are Bobble Bar. Or, yeah, Bobble Bar for Target. No, it's not called Bobble Bar. Bobble Bar. It's called... Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the knock, it's like the cheaper brand of Bobble Bar that they sell at Target. Sugar Fix, that's what it's called. It's called Sugar Fix for Bobble Bar. And they were 
$11.99. They are super lightweight. They're like a white tassel earring because I wanted a white pair of tassel earrings. I'll put one in for you guys because they're super cute. Um, I wore them for my sister's graduation and I w wouldn't even know that I had them in my ear. They were so lightweight um, and they go with anything. The perfect size and I just love them. So I wanted to share them with you. Sorry, this is kind of awkward, but they're literally so cute. Um, and yeah, so definitely check out that Sugar Fix brand from Target. They sell a lot of tassel earrings and other jewelry that's $20 or less and stuff is super cute. Um, and then the last thing I have is, let me take the, well, I'll, leave this, I'll leave it in there, it's my bookmark, um, is this book called She's Still There by Crystal Evans Hurst. And I'm only like 40 pages, 60 pages into it. So I will probably do a book review on this on my blog when I'm done with it, but I so far really like it. I read it at the pool a few times, and it's just a really good book. Um, I'm not a super, I'm not into reading really that much, but it's more of like a self-help, it is a self-help book. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of like about how to find yourself if you're lost, and um, I don't know, I just feel like it's a really good book that anyone could relate to in any stage of life. So definitely check this out. I got it at Target. Definitely cheaper than Barnes & Noble or any of those places. Target is the weird way to go for books. It was on sale because um, the cover says it's $16.99. I think it was like $11. So definitely cheap. And that's everything. I guess the only other thing I wanted to mention was super random, but um, oh, I will say one more thing. I normally do like song favorites, but I didn't really go through and figure out what song favorites I had this month. Um, so I will link that in the blog post and at the end of this video, because I can't play the songs anyways because of copyright issues. So I would just be mentioning them. Um, but I'll link the songs down below. So I normally do like two or three songs that I've been really loving the past month. So check that out down below. But the only other thing I wanted to mention was super random, but the blog, um, Bright in the Day by Bright in Color slash her Instagram account, I've been loving this month. Um, I've like followed her blog on and off, but like recently I've just been watching her Instagram stories all the time and um, just kind of like following her more on Instagram and she is like the funniest person ever. She's so down to earth um, and her style is super cute. She's from Dallas, Texas. Love her hair. Love everything about her. She's just super great and if you're looking for like a down to earth blogger that's not, you know, selling a ton of products all the time and talking about their like you know, posting like these super over the top pictures that look like they're in front of like a beach, all, like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. Like, she's just very like relatable, I guess is the word. So, um, I just wanted to give her a shout out and say, you know, if you're looking for a new blog to kind of read and dis read and discover, check her out. She's great. Um, so that is everything. I feel like I didn't have that many monthly favorites, but, um, I was just kind of wanted, what I wanted to share with you. And like I said, I love doing these videos. I cannot believe it's the end of the month already. I feel like I'll probably end up saying that every month. July is probably going to fly by just as fast as June did. But um, yeah, if you have any monthly favorites that you want to comment down below and tell me some products that I should definitely be checking out in July, I would love to know. And I will see you in my next video and have a great day. Bye.